Welcome to episode number 9 of our series, Cost Management, How to Build Your Financial Model. Today, I will discuss another important topic, Price Volume Mix Analysis, or PVM, and Dynamic Waterfall Chart. So, let's start. The BVM analysis is to break down the changes in revenue, as it's known sales bridge analysis in some topics, or contribution margin or gross margin into key components. By analyzing the budget versus actual, or you can also analyze your current period versus previous period results. Then analysis three main elements, the price, volume and mix effect there are a lot of important resources about this topic one of it was published by andres on his linkedin profile anders lulenberg asked an important question cash is king but how do you improve it and for the revenue growth he stated that we can break it down into several value drivers the first level breakdown is volume price, and mix. Also, I have asked Brian Labs, the director of the AFB Association, about the PVM analysis. And he mentioned these important resources by the AFB Certified Corporate Financial Planning and Analysis Professional Exam Preparation Platform. The first image about the sales mix variance. And the second image about the potential root causes of unfavorable sales volume variance. I would invite you to read it carefully. You will find it in the comments to this video, in the LinkedIn post. Also, I will mention the link to the website of the AFB Association and for the professional FBAC exam. Now, let's start with the practical examples. But I will just focus on the BVM analysis. I don't want our video to be too long. As you see, in our first example, it's a comparison between the actual figure for current year to the budget. We have these pro all products. We have in column C the quantity, in column D the price of budget, and sure the revenue will be multiplying the price by the quantity for each product. The same will be for our actual figure. First column for the quantity, the second for the price, and sure the revenue will be by multiplying the price of each product by the quantity. The variance is simple. It's the variance, variance or the difference between the current revenue and the budget revenue, as you see here. After that, you can copy the formula for the remaining. This is the total of the above variance, or you can calculate by compare between the actual total revenue and the budget total revenue. As you see, it will be the same. Look, the total is the same. For this format, you can use my same customer, custom number format, as you see. You can find it on the Excel itself. As we discussed before, we here just to focus on the BVM analysis, not on the Excel function itself. You can find a lot of tutorial on my channel about the dynamic format and the dynamic images. <coughs> images, sorry. As you see. Now for the important part about the product mix percentage. We need to calculate the product mix percentage for each product. Firstly, as per the budget and after that as per the actual figure. Then calculate the variance between the actual and budget. For the budget itself, by select the quantity for each product, then 
divided by the total budget product. But please don't forget to press F4. Then enter. Then copy and paste for the remaining products. But best formula special. Let's check. The total should be 100%, as you see. Now let us do the same for the actual figure, but by multiplying the actual quantity for each product by the total actual product. Again, don't forget to press F4, then enter, copy, and paste again for the remaining product. But again, best formula, special. Now, for the variance, it will be equal. The actual figure for our current year minus the budget figure. Then again, copy and the best special formula for the remaining. Can ask about this custom number format. Again, I have used a special custom custom number format, as you see, plus and using the up down sign. I can prepare uh, a separate uh, video about the custom format, but let us again focus on our video today about the BVM analysis. Now, what about the price difference? It will be equal. The actual price minus the budget price. Then multiply the total by the actual, not the budget, the actual quantity. Press enter. Copy and paste for the remaining product. Again, best special formula. Again, for this dynamic images, you can use it from here. Now for the volume, we need to adjust the budget quantity by multiply the budget product mix percentage by the total actual quantity. Again, by the total actual quantity to adjust the budget quantity, and don't forget to press F4. Then copy the formula and paste it on the remaining cells. Now we need to calculate the variance between the adjusted budget quantity and original budget quantity. Don't forget, it's the adjusted versus original budget quantity. As you see the variance here in units, I've used a custom number format to show the word unit beside each number, also to show positive or negative sign before the variance. Again, I'll make a separate video for the custom number format. Then we need to calculate the volume variance effects but as amounts not units or volume, to do that I will multiply the volume variance in units by the budget price. Again, multiply by the budget price and not actual price, then copy and paste to the other cells. Now for the mix variance. We need to multiply the product mix variance by the actual total quantity, again by actual not budget total quantity. Don't forget to press F4 for the cell of total quantity, then copy the formula and paste special to the remaining cells. Now the effect of the mix variances but as amount not as units or volume, by multiplying the mix variance in units by the original budget price. Take care multiply by the budget not actual price, then copy formula and paste to the other cells. Finally look at cell Z13 of the total price volume mix variances, it should be equal the total revenue variances in cell K13.
To insert waterfall chart, I have summarized the data variance in separate table as you see. To show the difference between the actual and budget, and the price volume mix effects. Go to Insert tab then click Insert Waterfall Chart. You can now minimize the chart then change its format as you wish, but don't forget to set the column of actual as total as you see. Then change the color of the decrease and increase, also the total actual and budget. Also, for the vertical axis change the minimum and maximum bonds. Also, you can change any format. Do you want to learn more about the waterfall chart? Here you are, a very helpful article by Mind Tracy on her website, Online Training Hub. Mindia is my favorite Excel training provider. I would recommend this article for you that includes a lot of detailed examples with amazing waterfall chart. Please visit this website and read this very important article. Let us start our second example, but this time we'll include a customer detail. We will analyze the BVM analysis in a new way by analysis the BVM effect per each customer, not just per each product. In the sheet of customers, you can find the sales data of each product by customers in column B. The quantity and price of previous year 2021 in column C and D, and year 2022 in column F and G. In sheet PVM and in cell A3, I have inserted a data validation list for the customer's name, then linked the budget quantity and price to the validation list, using the sum product function. You can watch episode 4 and 5 for using and building some product formula same as this. Today we need to focus on the PVM analysis. From column K till column X are the same formulas and steps as we did in the previous example. Now by changing the data validation list you can select any customer and analyze the PVM variances as we did before. Also, in cell E15 and I15 the percentage of total customer revenue to the total revenue of all customers. Please check the worksheet file and try to do the same. If you still not understand any step, feel free to ask me in the comments, I need you to do more practices not just receiving the worksheet to archive it without using. An additional important resource is by Asif Masani in his book, All About Financial Planning and Analysis. You can find the direct link of his post in the comment. That will include a PDF file of his very important book. In the upcoming episode, 
we can discuss the variances analysis in detail. See you.